Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Belfield talking to two of the biggest stars in panto, musical theatre and show business. Jack, Andrew, how are you? Good. Hello, Good. nice to see you. How are you, Jack? I know last night, congratulations, by the way, award-winning Jack Chiaro. Here he is, and you look like you're still 100%. You can't be feeling it. <laughs> no, it was a great night. It was very exciting. Congratulations. What a year it's been for you, firstly. I mean, there you were in Joseph. I was there for opening night, and this magnificent performance, and I'm not the first to say it. Congratulations. A star is born. Oh, thank you very much. It's always weird when people say things like that, because I think, no, I just feel very lucky. I feel very lucky. Well, you were lucky, because he could have picked anyone, and he chose chose you. I mean, it must have been breathtaking to know that of all the people in the world, you were Joseph. Yeah, it was very, very surreal. I mean, I just went into the audition process thinking, well, it'll be a bit of experience, get to meet some cool people and then got the job in the it's end. It's all yours. It's all mine. It and what does it feel like just a few weeks later stood here in leggings about to be in Panto? <laughs> it feels great. And this is my Panto debut. And what a great place to make your debut in Best Panto. place to do it. Yeah, that's what I hear. Couldn't be better. Well, I've been coming here for years and there is no bigger panto in the world. Let's face it, this is the biggest panto in the world, the longest run and the biggest show. And you get the Palladium set this year. You must be thrilled. Delighted. Couldn't wait to come back. I mean, it's all ticks all the boxes, doesn't it? Birmingham Palladium set, massive cast, everyone in the world in it. Couldn't be better. I love how you play your part because you don't stick it up. You're not a man playing a woman. You're a panto dame. There's a big difference, isn't it? Yes, I just, I embrace the story, really. I embrace the ridiculous of the situation, and I just believe it. It's about believing the story and the jokes, and that's how I, I play it. I'm just a, a person in this mad world. Have you got the best role in the show, or the worst, because you've got to put the eyelashes on? <laughs> I've got the best, really, haven't I? I think I've got the best, yeah. yeah. Has he got eyelashes on? I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> These are my own. <laughs> Not false, you know. <laughs> they do seem to do a lot of sort of dangling and wobbling. Don't they, they do all the work for me. I don't have to do anything, let me tell you. It's fine. Are the costumes the most exciting part of what you do? Because anybody can put a wig on, but then add in this, and they get more and more ridiculous as the show goes on. The on-stage bit is the easy part of the job. Doing the talking and the singing and whatever, then the jokes is the easy bit. It's when you go off stage and you're, you're changing and ripping costumes off, and you've got dresses and wardrobe people cramming you in. So that's... The hard work on stage in front of the lights is the easy bit. And there you are, of course, sat there looking Mr. Delicious as the prince. That wasn't the case a month ago, was it, when they made you wear a loincloth? Completely. And funny story, the first time I wore the loincloth was in a run-through in front of the Lords, and it didn't quite fit, and it popped off. So I did the rest of Act <laughs> 1 in my underwear in oh, front of the Lords. Very unfortunate. <laughs> imagine, imagine. Did he give you two thumbs up at the end of it? I didn't see him. Thank the, <laughs> thank the Lord. I've been highly embarrassed. This year, of course, you've got the spectacular set from Snow White from the London Palladium. And it does make a difference, doesn't it? When you've got this incredible production around you, audiences expect a lot these days. No. Well, last year, funny enough, I was in Southampton with Joe McKeldry, who's in this show. And we were doing Dick Whittington, which was the set from the Palladium the year before. So we were in Southampton with the Palladium set, which was immense. And because it, it's Dick Whittington, it's all the bells of London ringing. And on the, the, the pros, the first bit of the set, there were moving bells and there were the City of London and it, just incredible. So the, the, the Palladium set coming here will be amazing and that whole mirror thing. And because I saw, I managed to see the Palladium last year. It was extraordinary. And the, the whole snow special effects incredible, incredible we have to give kudos to kudos because they have taken panto to a new level and of course this is produced by michael harrison who basically changed your life i mean you must be completely in awe of this man who really took you from a guy who was still at college to being one of the biggest stars in musical theatre ever at the london palladium it's i mean i owe everything to michael i love i love michael i will do anything for michael so to work for him again is just an honor completely what do we get vocally from you in this? I mean, we know you can sing like a bird. Then again, there's 13 people in the show who can sing like a bird. That's the biggest problem with Panto, isn't it? Finding room. What are we going to get from you? Will we get a Joseph moment? You might get a Joseph moment. I don't know. I'm still yet to see anything. So I'll be just as surprised as you. <laughs> it's very lucky Julian Clary isn't in it, because I remember when Lee Mead was here, uh, he tried to have a Joseph moment and Julian just talked all over it. That's right. He was having none of it. No, he wasn't. It was, fabulous. It was a fabulous moment, yes. <laughs> 
Is this the happiest time of your year? I mean, you're synonymous with this now and you are one of the most credible there's ever been in Panto. And people trust your judgment, both as a director, performer and, and the guy who holds the whole thing together. Oh, is this exciting for you to be back and here? I love it. And this was the venue. I mean, I've done Notting, Nottingham quite a few times and I love it there and I have a great time. But here I have the best time and I couldn't wait to come back, actually. Because you never quite know, at the end of the panto run, you don't quite know where you're going to be next year. And then when I got a call and it's, hello, you're coming to Birmingham, it's like, we suck. Yeah. Two words though, Matt Slack. Have you heard of this fella? I've heard of this fella, yeah. I've heard Trouble, of... trouble. Oh, really? My <laughs> two words that. say who? <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> I know him. I mean, coming into a show where a guy is so loved and does it so brilliantly, I mean, he's mastered that part, hasn't he? And the audience love him before he even starts. Yeah. It sort of gives you uh, sort of two points before you've even started. Absolutely. And he's so loved to be on stage with. Mad as a box of frogs. <laughs> but hilarious. <laughs> hilarious to be on stage with. Such a great panther performer. And have you worked with anybody like Faye or Joe before? I mean, the great thing about you is we think you've been here forever, but of course you haven't. As of December, you've not even been on a professional stage, had you really, let alone played? Exactly. No, I have never worked with anyone in this cast, so that's really exciting. And I'm, I'm nervous. I've got like, so many funny people that they're all going to give me the giggles. I'm the worst for holding it together on stage. Jason used to make me laugh all the time. So we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> this is your role and, and the costumes. I mean, does this ever become normal when you look in a mirror and you look like this? I mean, this is just my street clothes. This is, <laughs> this is how I arrive today. Like that. <laughs> no, I feel very comfortable in sparkles and tights. <laughs> Talking of suits and things, I saw last night, congratulations, best newcomer at one of these top awards. And I think you're going to win more. I said it right at the beginning. I mean, such a phenomenal performance. Uh, the trousers, though. Couldn't you aff afford a full pair of trousers? They were rather short, Jack. Come on. You're not the first person to have said that. I was making a fashion statement, and, and maybe clearly, it's a statement that I won't be making again, but you live and learn. You live and learn. Congratulations on everything. Do we know what we're going to get this year? Just tease people, because we know what happened at the Palladium. Are we allowed to say anything? Um, we haven't actually seen the script. I think there are some very special effects. Hopefully that snow effect whole thing. Um, I think we might have some sort of prehistoric monsterish sort of thing. Well, when we think of Snow White, we always think of a dinosaur, don't we? Uh, I don't think it's a dinosaur, I think more dragon, maybe. Some sort of dragon, I oh, think. Really? I might be wrong on that, but I think we, I don't want to give away too much. I might be in trouble yeah, now, right. you see. I might get... <gasps> Put it this way, you are not going to see a bigger show. It's always difficult for me to decide which is the best show at mm -hmm. Christmas, whether it is the Palladium or this, but they're virtually on par. I mean, the standard of this show and the effort that Michael puts into it is extraordinary. Does it ever become overwhelming? The thing I thought the first time I saw you in Joseph was, how do you keep your nerve? Because we're all just human, and now you've got 2,800 people watching you, judging you. Yeah. It, yeah, that was a strange thing because I thought I was going to be absolutely terrified every single night. But I think the opening night was the most scared I've ever been in my entire life. So once that hurdle was done with, I kind of thought, OK, I've done that. People liked what I did. Now I can kind of relax and enjoy it. And then I just got to enjoy it. And that moment when Close Every Door finishes, and that stunning orchestra, by the way, I think there were 16 oh. in the pit. It was so amazing. Okay. And then you on top of it and the lighting and the show he gave you. Just describe that tingle when that roar of the audience comes at you, because that can never become normal, sure. No, never, never. And we had amazing audiences on Joseph, so that was pretty much the response every night, which was surprising. I mean, we knew that it was going to get a great response because it's Joseph, but... We were just so pleased that everyone embraced our production. So to see that reaction every night was absolutely priceless. Going from Joseph to this is no bad thing. And what an exciting cast as well. Joe McKeldry is going to be in this. And then, of course, you've got Faye. Two great singers. So let, let's hope we get something there between the three of you going. This could be exciting. I really hope so. That'd be great. And for you to be in this show particularly, I mean, Cinderella there, you've got a classic, iconic uh, pantomime and then Snow White. I mean, one and two, these are the ones they want to Did see. Did you know that Snow White is the youngest of all pantomimes? It's the last one that sort of came on the circuit. Oh, wow. Yes, so there you go. Uh, um, yes, this is such a brilliant story. And I've worked with Leslie before and Matt before and uh, Joe before. And so it's like friends all together. It's How old are you, Jack? 21. 21. Can you remember Birds of a Feather? No. 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 There you go. This is, this is oh, show business, Andrew. I know, business, business. Business. <laughs> I know business, business. Basically, we're very old. That's what you're yeah. saying. I'm not 21. So. <laughs> But plus a bit of VAT. Congratulations on being you. You're such a star. Andrew Ryan Thank will be you. here at the Birmingham Hippodrome in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And Jack Yarrow, what a star, what a legend. Lovely to see you again. Thank you, you too.